I'm Alfred. Oh. Okay, there we go. Hey, welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. You've probably seen this before. I'm willing to bet, at least. This is SCP Containment Breach. Um. Oh lord, that's so small. So. This is a game. Fuck, why don't I just get it? Start the game. So, yeah, I'm gonna come out and say it. This game is technically a roguelike. Think about it, huh? Huh? Think about it. Randomly generates every time. Re-regenerates on, uh, on death. It's a roguelike, baby. For those who aren't aware, the SCP uh, part of it is from the SCP Foundation. Oh, man. Okay. On behalf of the SCP Foundation and our staff, we welcome you to an exciting one-month working period in Top Secret Facility. Details of the assignment are classified. Read the document carefully to stay as safe. Yada yada. D-Class have been given a name. This is yours. If you fail to comply, you're going to be sent back to death row. They've got some work for you. Do me a favor and step out of your cell. Just follow me. Oh, and by the way, we're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects, so don't try anything stupid. What is the... Okay, it's space bar. So for those who don't know... Attention. The SCP uh, Chief Foundation Frank. is a fictional foundation that is... Uh, a place known for essentially cataloging cryptids, I would say. You don't have a girlfriend, do you? Well, I'm definitely not a mind reader. Otherwise, I'd be Weird objects, monsters. You know, shit like that. And it's all organized on this big uh, fan wiki called the SCP, uh, the SCP Wiki. They're essentially just creepypastas. They're all short little stories. Um, some of them are just like straight short stories. Love this guy's stance. Or maybe you won't be. Either way, I don't really care. Oh, and by the way. Item 173 is to be kept in a locked container at all times. When personnel enter 173's container, no more, no fewer than three may enter at any time, and the doors to remain locked behind them. At all times, two persons must maintain direct eye contact with 173 until personnel have vacated and relocked container. Origin is not yet unknown. It's a statue. It cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Line of sight must not be broken at any time with 173. Object is reported to attack by snapping the neck at the base of the skull or by strangulation. The event of an attack, personnel are to yada yada yada, yada yada yada. So yeah, um, this is one such thing. Um, classifications are things I'll get into later. I know a, a decent amount of SCP lore. But what I am is what's called a Class D, as you can see. They're death row inmates that are uh, yoinked out of prison, because um, well, you know they're gonna die anyway, and uh, they experiment on them, use them as manual labor, menial tasks, you know. What's that? The door doesn't lock. We can't fix the containment in a game called Containment. So you can just die right there. That's a true fact. Oh, shit. Oh. Wow, what happened? Um, so yeah, um, SCP Foundation, just a big fucking group that, uh, you push button, but nothing happened. There's a couple of thousand stories, I think, now. Okay. Here we go. 
Got spooked a little there, but uh, it was a desk lamp I was looking at. So I'm off to a good start for monster recognition, which is uh, pretty basic when it comes to um, survival. Anyway. The thing we're dealing with now is, uh, you know, it's another sight-based monster like a Slenderman, an Enderman, a Weeping Angel. Take your pick. I think it's kind of lame that it fights. Oh, what's happening? What is happening? Attention. All personnel report to... Oh my god, are you serious? You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> okay. Oh, is that right? I think that's right. Hold on. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that looks right. Uh, brother dear. Well. See, because there's a big fucked up containment breach, a bunch of dumb shit is happening all over the facility. Uh. So there's all kind of shit in, uh. The SCP cannon. Oh, come on. Some of them are basically demons with uh, magic, and that's kind of what's going on here. I've been sucked into a, uh, a hell dimension. I forget exactly what this guy's deal is. But normally, the game is randomly generated, and there's a few different boss monsters placed around. Okay, so is that a glitch, or is that a... Oh, it's an eldritch object. Your brain cannot comprehend... Oh, said Neil. I kneeled him. Here I am. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's really cool. I want to know about that. It reminds me of that giant fucking bird in God of War 4 that's just sitting. I, I feel like I'm getting out of order, but also, what the hell do I talk about? It's the SCP Foundation. If you haven't heard of it yet, um, this video is not the place to learn about it. Okay, it was cool, but now I can kind of see that it's just a texture that's coming at me. <laughs> oh, oh, man, the way it just clips into the skybox. So, anyway. As I said, I'm a D-class, um who are, you know, prisoners. Uh, although I think the actual identity of the player character is predetermined. And in fact, you're not a normal D-class, you're actually a regular dude. Who, uh... Oh no, you're a scientist, you're a former scientist. I don't want to look at this thing anymore, I'm sick of looking at it. I don't like how it fits in the environment, it doesn't look perfect. Ooh, a face! Scary, right? I hope you're scared. Oh, am I in World War One? Is this a trench I'm in? That's a that's a bomber. You're feeling fade from the amount of blood you've lost. I was losing blood. Yay, I'm back. This is legitimately giving me a headache. Anyway. Originally, the game was about a, um, a spooky fellow by the name of SCP-173, who is the guy who attacks based on sight, if you recall. And so that's what this blink meter is here for. It's all to make sure that, uh, you know, you, you do that. Makes the game more atmospheric, too. You know. Ah, face again. Falling into somewhere. Oh. 
So, Punis is bad, unless you want to go to fight that guy right away. Um... Hey, that's the first segment. Christ. And hey, we're back. So, um, what should I talk about next? Oh, I, I, sh I feel like I should explain the, um, the safe things. Oh, fuck. I left that thing on. Damn it. New James. Robert Pattinson. And I'll be Thubin. So, um, safe is something that is completely safe. As long as it's in a box. Um, there are three of the three, like, normal... Oh, no, I'm good. Anything considered safe is um, something where you can just throw it in a box and it'll be. Really? Already? Oh, brother. Well, maybe he hasn't seen me. Yeah, the, uh, the peanut there can teleport. Well, what if we go this way? They're not doing great, are they? So, guess I'm gonna have to go through that, huh? Yippee motherfucking skip. I'm not pleased about that. Not one bit. Ah, big ol' shit stains. I think that means he teleported away. Okay. So. Blood stain. Mm -hmm. Good sign, good sign. Um, what? Oh. Ow. Wait, really? <laughs> uh Okay. Spooky face. Maybe I should just start over. SCPs are given three different classifications. Safe, Euclid, and Keter. Safe things are things where you can just fucking throw them in a box, and if they don't do anything, they're fine. So, by this definition, uh, things like gasoline, a grenade, a gun, those are all considered safe by the logic stars. Oh, there he is. Should I just go away and wait for him to leave like he did last time? Uh, Euclid is where it does some weird yep, shit stains. There we go. Wait, F5 to save, right? Yeah, here we go. Euclid is where it'll do some weird shit beside. But you can still contain it relatively safely. And Keter is just a uh, Omega Giga Fuck Beast. Uh, that, that's Attention. a technical term. All personnel report to Dude, can you please step back from the microphone a little bit? So if I remember correctly, this is not poisonous, but it makes your vision meter drain quickly. Um, which can be bad. 
that is uh, decontamination <coughs> fog, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you can hear me cough there a little bit. Uh, it doesn't kill me, if I remember. What happened? Oh, come on. <laughs> See, I want to get a good map seed. Maybe I should Google that. Maybe I just I should just see if there's good map seeds out there. Cause um yeah, like Minecraft, we're able to put a like a, a seed out and and type in a seed and it'll give you specific things. So I don't know what killed me there. Crouch here. Okay, I guess I can't crouch. Is it the poison gas? I thought it didn't kill you. Maybe there's something in here with me. So what happened in the first segment is that I, uh, fell into a SCP's uh, dimension. I want to say his colloquial name is Radicalaria. I don't remember his designation. What do I got in my inventory right now? I got the stuff on 173. See, so, yeah, um, the reddish brown substance on the floor is a combination of feces and blood. Origin of the materials is unknown. Ah, oh, spooky. I'm noticing that my vision gets dragged to uh, things it wants me to see a lot. This is really dark. I feel like I should turn the lights off, but the sun's about to come up, so... Oh, that's what killed me. <laughs> it looks terrible. <laughs> oh my god. That monster design is crap. The mon- it's just this big gooey thing. Why does it look like that? Oh my god, it looks like garbage. <laughs> oh god. Alright, hey, I'm back. Um, I found uh, a Reddit post that's like, here's a great seed. Apparently, it's just a lowercase flat bread. Let me offer it again. Also, while on the same subreddit, uh, someone was like, what SCP is this? It causes the camera to flick around. I found it in this video here, and it also shows up in my playthrough. And I found it in this video here at this timestamp. And someone was like, yeah, it's just a bug. It's a bug because this, like, piece of shit game is made is held together with prayers and duct tape and like not to imply that this game fucking sucks balls however the game is is rough i will say but like it's an indie it's an indie project for a fan project Looks like this room is always the same in uh, most recent patch. Door stock. Bench is cool. Blood stain. Admittance to important motherfuckers only. The little panels next to the door, the model for it, reminds me of... I feel like I shouldn't stand in that, but let's try. Attention. All personnel oh, report to it's just the auto head. Immediately. Okay. So I didn't actually read up on what the fuck this seed actually is like, so I don't know what I'm getting into. Oh. 194. Keycard, huh? See, because some SCPs are also objects, some of them you can just, like, fucking pick up and, like, take with you. And some of them are actually quite useful. 
Like, for instance, there's one that's just a really good gas mask. Or there's a uh, SCP that'll cure anything ever. What were those? Uh, a battery, which can be used for the flashlight. And document SCP-693 are endothermic pack-based predators which display atrophy of various symptoms similar to troglobiotic organisms. Troglobiotic. Is that like... It's like troglodyte. So, what does that word mean? I guess someone that lives in the dark. The skin of nine, uh, 939 are permeable to moisture and translucent red. 2.2 meters upright. And weigh 50, uh, 250 kilograms. Each four limbs and in three-fingered claws with a fourth opposable digit and covered in setae, which are which augment climbing ability. Oh, I know what setae are. I had to, I had to do that when um if Kristen's watching, she'll appreciate this. I had to do that when I was studying for my uh, my gecko character. Uh, a setae is the little the little hair things that are on the end of gecko feet. Gecko feet. The, the plural of gecko is not gecko. Anyway, they contain hairs that split into little hairs that split into smaller hairs that are eventually so small they're at the molecular level. And then those little hairs reach into the molecules of a surface. And that's how they latch onto it. And it's just based on muscle relaxation. And that's how they stick to everything. Anyway. Uh, their heads are elongated, devoid of even vestigial eyes or eye sockets, and contain no brain casing. Interesting. The jaws are lined with red, faintly luminescent fang-like teeth, six centimeters in length, encircled by heat-sensitive pit organs. Uh, vipers have things like that. Pit organs are... Um, uh, th thermal sensing things. Primary method of luring play is imitation of human speech in the voice of prior victims. Intriguing. Uh, vocalizations often price significant distress, whether it understands the vocalizations or are repeating heard phrases is the subject of study. Uh, it exhales minute traces of an aerosolized Class C amnesiac designated AMNC227 which causes temporary interrogate amnesia, inhibiting memory for function for the duration of exposure, plus an average of 30 minutes. It's colorless, odorless, and tasteless, with an estimated uh, ECT-50 for inhalation of 0 0.0015 milligrams per minute per meter squared. Uh, I knew what all those words mean. I feel impressed with myself. I'm proud. In a well-ventilated and or open-air environment, risk of exposure is reduced, but not negligible. Reported sensations of disorientation and mild hallucination, may be followed removal from environments saturated with the agent, and some of the recreational use of numerous psychedelic substances and easily mistaken as such. See, a Keter, that was a Keter monster as well, and Keter monsters are just things that actively hate humans. Recursive spatial phenomena. Wait. Yeah, that's a recursive spatial phenomena. That's... What? Oh. A level one key card. And an empty cup. Interesting. I guess that's why the seed is uh, well liked. I just got a key card in the first couple of minutes. Mimetic hazard. So now that I have a key card, I can get into places I'm not supposed to be. Uh, 1123 is kept in a hermetically sealed container in argon gas atmosphere when not tested. During storage, the temperature could be low something, something control experiment. A human skull missing lower mandible with all its teeth on the forehead is the modern Khmer script written in human blood, translates as remember. When a subject approaches it, they will experience anomalous sensory phenomena, including smells, the cooking meat or ashes, uh, sounds such as soft crying, low heartbeats or breathing, or distant footsteps, and tactile responses such as grit in the eyes or glass splinters in the small foot. When they touch the surface of it, they will experience a dissociative fugue state. Oh. So my, my Thursdays. Uh, initiation of it appears instantaneous. 
characterized by confusion, disorientation, and adoption of a new identity, and memory research consists of knowledge, including language previously unknown to a subject. Interesting. Let's go touch it. Damn. There. Oh, I still hear it. Interesting. Can't just pick up those papers. Those are just pictures of papers. Neat. Neat. Oh. I've always loved the, the look of a jawless skull. Elevator's broken. So yeah, um... Well, that's a good sign. Oh! Even better! So the thing about rooms like that is that they lock behind you. I think- I actually haven't seen those rooms, but I, I remember them in the... I remember rooms like that in other versions. What is in there? The femur breaker room? Checkpoint lockdown. Heavy containment zone. Containment SCP-08. Who is that? Is that Kane? Okay. Okay. Wonder if I'll get jump scared if I, uh... Look in here. Well, there's a stain on the glass, but that's not really scary. Unless I had a uh, crippling Windex addiction. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, I, I looked away and I, I missed it. They got me. Who was that? Um, fatal cervical fracture. Oh, it was 173. It caught up to me. <laughs> uh, wow, okay. Uh, segment break while I fix the recording. So the SCP on the uh, page right now is the, uh, I think it's the thing I mentioned. Yeah, it's the, it's the panacea. Where it'll cure anything. Let's go back this way. Into my uh, spatial anomaly. Recursive spatial anomaly. So what happens if we go this way? Uh huh. Uh huh. So there's a room here with a big. Okay. It looks like they just cheated it, actually. Huh, okay. I think I found my way back here, which is... Huh? Well, this. Damn. So if you have a keycard, but you don't have a big enough keycard, it still says keycard. Which I'm sure confused some people, because, like... Keycard. Yep. Level one right there. Oh. Right, the black stand on the floor. Right. So that's how you get to here. This uh, this dimension. Radical Larry. Actually, while I'm here, let me Google what the hell his designation is. Radical Larry. <laughs> it's this... What is this little kid? Hold, hold on. When you Google Radical Larry, it brings up this image. <laughs> what, what the fuck is this? Hold on. Hold on. If I can bring this up, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm fucking crying here. <laughs> what is this? 
looks like in a cartoon when someone gets like squashed by an anvil. What is? Okay, what is this? Okay, so it's SCP-106. Yeah, there's literally there's literally a uh, a Reddit post that's like, why is it called this? Um, currently, there's a thing called SCP Renaissance. I forget. Hold on. What is this called? Uh, Canon Renaissance Contest. Um, where basically you, uh, you essentially just refurbish some stuff. Or no, you write new stuff. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I think everyone who's in it is is already in it. And so right now, the only thing left to do is um, wait for those to come out and then vote on the winners. Um, maybe I'll read... Oh, cool. I can see now. Oh, is this a Lost Woods? Like a like a Legend of Zelda. Oh, no man's land. Wait, hold on. Is the? Yep. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I hope that kid is just like a bad edit, and that's not like someone with uh, physical deformities I'm making fun of. Because that's not my intention. I assumed that it was like a, a weird edit someone had made. Based on how old it looks. Damn. So you can fall into Radical, radical Larry's um, or SCP-106 if you prefer. Here we go. So yeah, check this out. Oh my god, he's in there. <laughs> that was stupid. Okay, so in those rooms, the door locks behind you. And 173 can't go through the doors. So he'll get stuck in the doors. So you go through one while he's chasing you. And then while he's in there, you stare at him and walk out backwards. Oh, hold on. It's not broken. It's just currently in use. Huh, good sign. Hmm, better sign. Well, how about I wait for that elevator, huh? Ah. Uh, you know, I feel very welcome here. Alright, fine. If you don't want me to take the elevator, I won't take the elevator. Let's go to here. I'm sure there's nothing bad will come out of this. See, so yeah, in rooms like that, where time locks close the door, it makes it easy for you to trap uh, 173 in there by just getting stuck backwards. Okay, what's the architect? Femme fatale? What? Okay. Encountered a recursive room. Encountered the builder bear. Oh! Um, hi. What? 
Oh, well. Oh, <laughs> uh, whatever you say. One of my favorite things about this game is that you do not have to look at something directly to open it. See, I can open that door without looking at it. And normally that's kind of stupid. Splat. Okay, I got it that time. Why don't we close this? Why don't we save here, in fact? Body still there? Good. And I've looped back to here. Oh no, this is a different elevator. Okay. What's wrong? Is this guy's weight dragging it down? Let's save here. I feel certainly fine saving right here. Nothing bad could come of that. Yep. Uh, another Tesla gate. So I'm gonna try to run through it. It would amuse me. You know, don't knock it till you tried it. Amusing me, I mean. So originally, I assumed that that guy fell from the ceiling because of 173. And this is the same seed, so that means that similar things should happen across it. So this is an airlock door as well. Okay. Not sure where I'm meant to be going here, but I guess that's the issue with a randomly generated video game. Your run meter is really low, but I seem to remember you being able to upgrade that. It has been a while since I played this, probably since high school. Oh, it's the SCP. It got me. Yeah, that was that, uh, that was that bug that, uh... So let's save here. Actually, let's blink and let's save here. Yeah, he's just in there. Blink. Oh, I just realized that the reason that you can look around like that is because, um... Your eyes still work, even though your brain function has stopped. Okay, so let's try to let's try to do the old the old the old hootsy tweetsy. It's this classic technique where door stuck. Okay, well, trying to see if I can activate the console there. Guess not. Maybe I'll keep backtracking. I mean, I've got a key card now, so I should be able to open more stuff, theoretically speaking. It's a light testing chamber, though. Come on. You know, the good news is that that means that S, uh... Why did I do that? The door was open. That means that, uh, 173 is locked back there, so he can't fuck with me. Someone landed there. Bins to authorize personnel. <laughs> Report all potential anomalies. Don't forget, today is pizza day. That's a sticker. Do they put that up every day? It's pizza day and tear it down. You know what? Maybe it's one of those things where like it uh, it it attaches to glass really well, but then you can just pull it off. Okay, there's the Tesla gate. Wait, is this a different Tesla gate? This is the other side of the Tesla gate because he came running from here. So what was he running away from in here that he needed to get to the other side of a Tesla gate so bad he wouldn't even try to turn it off? Actually, wait, while I'm here, I think I just heard a laughter. While I'm here, can I turn this off? So this game does have a plot. This game does have, in addition, because um, the thing is, SCP Wiki is just a whole bunch of lore connected by like, ooh, damn, damn. Ooh. 
right, decontamination. Yeah, SCP is, is mostly lore, although there are some short stories. And some of these are like, um... Uh, some of those are, are just written like very, very dry, like almost Wikipedia descriptions of events. And like, if you like those, you know, that's fine. Southeast wing. Follow me. What? Oh, someone got got downstairs. Meanwhile, yeah, jazz mask. So now I can breathe stuff that is bad. Move gas mask. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Hey, yep. Let's read some lore. Wait, I've read that lore. All right, on blankety blank blank, SCP 1048A was discovered watering 24. Uh, it resembles a teddy bear, but made entirely out of human ears. Carver was called to the scene along with security team. Mm hmm. Uh, everyone heard a high pitched shriek, caused immense pain. It's 10 meter radius. Ear like growths began growing on everyone within 5 meters of the subject, covering their bodies in less than 20 seconds. Every person afflicted with a symptom died in 3 minutes, including the death of blank personnel. Entire security team. Uh, autopsies revealed the death to be asphyxiation caused by the aggrandance of ear like growths manifesting in the mouth and trachea of all victims. Uh, they fled the scene before Dr. Carver arrived and have not been contained since the incident. Those sightings of them have reported on multiple occasions. Shortly after this incident occurred, a researcher was discovered missing an ear. According to this, it was removed through unknown means while he was sleeping. No other victims were found. It's unclear if uh, SCP contained more or if it's capable of duplicating objects or materials. Okay. SCP is unknown. The whereabouts are unknown. It's at site blank. So this one. Um, SCP-10, small teddy bear, 33 centimeters in height. Through testing, composition of the subject revealed no unusual qualities make it discernible from non-saving teddy bear. It's capable of moving on its own accord, can be communicated through small range of gestures. The anomalous behavior was observed approximately seven months after it was secured. Hypothesized subject able to construct true replicas of itself using various materials. Process yet to be observed directly by staff. Carver uh, uses its enduring. Carver suggests 1048 uses its endearing qualities to lure those around it to a false insecurity, allowing it to collect materials. The three known creations of SCP 1048 A, B, and C, the nature of them. Mm -hmm. And it has extreme violence towards humans. So it found a human ear. Give me that, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Nice. What was... What is... Hold on. Did I just activate sticky keys? I've got to say... I've never once needed to use sticky keys. Okay, yeah, sticky keys is off. All right, battery, battery. Okay. So I wonder if I were to give, if I were to find that bear not separated through glass, and if I were to give it, um. And if I were to give it a, uh, like a key card, for instance. Oh, it's just the button B. Okay. Uh, hey, fellas. I noticed what appears to be a huge cage uh, with the door wide open. 
Someone, uh, someone slipping up here? Corner of your eye. Radio transceiver. Document, uh, 327. <laughs> okay, so I, th this is a minor thing. On the SCP wiki, there's this fucking big uproar, because everyone was like, stop using feet. You know, no one uses feet. Don't use Imperial units. Just use meters. Use, you know, standard units. So they didn't change any dimensions. They just changed how they're written. So instead of, like, oh, it's nine feet. Or no, no, instead of, like, oh, it's ten feet. Oh, no, it's 3.3979334 meters. Which is so bitchy. Uh, this thing is a creature of an unknown genus, two meters long, head to tail, approximately 45 kilograms, it's pretty light, uh, eight pairs of narrow limbs on a long, thin body, muscles are f extremely redacted, why does that have to be redacted? Why, why would that have to be redacted? Can you just say dense? Or it has a lot of, like, white muscle or pink muscle? Extremely fast, precise movements. Every part of the body is abnormally flexible. Limbs are coated with small fibers that cling to almost any solid surface. In place of eyes or ears, it has data expunged. See, why would the data have to be expunged there? This sensory organ is capable not only of echolocation, but of detecting energy transfers, such as electrical impulses of brain in the brains of any nearby beings. See, why does that data have to be expunged? Sharks can do that. Like, we, we know what that is. That's not a crazy thing. And the fact that the name of it is expunged, but the, the function of it isn't, that's silly. It's learned to time its movements around those pulses, predicting movements of any being around it. It uses a technique to hide, uh, either by hiding behind the head of a person looking for it, or by hiding their scotomas or saccades. Five, zero, three, two. Why would it say Scotama? Because that is a real term. It's, it just means blind spot. But I more commonly hear it used as a psychological term. Is it the psychological term? Why would a keycard be required to close the door? Well, anyway, I probably let that thing out. And, wow. Someone had a party down here. Wallet. Oh, it has quarters in it. Okay. Breach. What? What was that? Was that the lizard? Okay, well, it appears to not function. I should probably check that on the recording. That happened at about 21 minutes for this segment. Yeah, I'm curious as to what the fuck that was. What about you? Do you have anything I can loot? So one of my favorite SCPs, not because I like it or anything, it's actually because I hate it. Oh, that, oh, that SCP got me. The SCP that makes your camera go all crazy. One of my favorite SCPs, not because it's good, but because it sucks. Okay, I really, are, are is that the lizard or is that just graphical glitches? Oh, hello, sir. All right, and now I guess I can never leave. Why are some doors, why are there some doors that don't have buttons next to them? What's the purpose of those? So yeah, you do a little sneaky like that. You do a sneaky. And now he's stuck in there, see? How did he get through here, by the way? There's so many decontaminations. Oh, 
Okay. Anyway. So they usually want to shy away from uh, human SCPs. And like, cause, cause that's a whole can of worms. But there's this very early SCP whose name is Cain. His power is that he's the biblical Cain. And he's like got superpowers and super strength and stuff. It's, it's like so, it's so tacky. Oh, I'm back here, I think. Well, I certainly was backtracking. I guess that's why the, the, the peanut caught up with me. 173 cut up for me, that is. Because, uh, I went towards where he is. So, if my numbers are correct, I've got two SCPs, three SCPs chasing me. I've got the little eight legged lizard fella. Go 173 because he's something of a constant in this game. And now I've got, um, and then I've also got the, uh, the skull that makes you go, uh, crazy. And hallucinate and stuff. So where have I been? Getting a little lost here. This is a good seed. I like it. Okay, I've been here. Sun's coming up. I'm gonna close this behind me. But yeah, the uh, the SCP Kane is just it's so edgy and it's so tacky. And like it's not original. Like let's 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 go with the idea that the SCP wiki are all villains. Kane is literally the first villain. Oh, did I turn it on? Ah, oh, sure did. I haven't saved, have I? Uh, well, where is my... Hmm. You know what? Why don't we just... Yeah. I'll look for a new seed, and then I'll come back and bitch about SCPs more. Alright, so I found another uh, map seed. Just that a little bit. There you go. That should be a little better. I found another... That just hit my microphone, too. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. Fucking everything up. Okay. So what happens if I get right up on him? Oh, he does kill me. Right, didn't save. You know, I'll be honest, I've already recorded enough for one episode. I just don't care. I really enjoy playing this game. Like, as a game, it's... It's, it's very good. It's very enjoyable. Makes me happy to play. It's nostalgically important. Yeah, you can just see him down there, like that. Like as someone who was ever a fan of SCPs, and like I haven't been like really into SCPs since I was in like high school. Is that a woman scream there. It looks kind of similar from here. Light testing chamber. Okay. Got some differences. Oh. 
There's an airlock, but no one's pushing the button in there, so it must be manual. Attention. All personnel report to Uh 194 again. Immediately. Or sorry. I think that said 941. Um I'm dis something. Uh We getting a lizardly friend again? Apparently it looks more like a praying mantis. Yeah, this thing is I don't remember the purpose of this. song from Over the Garden Wall stuck in my head. Probably because it's autumn. My wife um, recently rewatched Over the Garden Wall with uh, her brother, me. Wow. You got me. Her brother, her friend, and me. And uh, I joined in because I had never seen it before. Gotta say, it put me in a very autumnal mood, so I'm recording some horror games, which is why I'm doing this. Um, that said, I think that this is uh, a pretty clear picture of uh, what this game is. It's it's really good. It is legitimately one of the like best horror, not roguelikes, I guess. Um, maybe it's a roguelite. But yes, it's it's a game where shit gets randomly generated upon death. Um, having a seed makes it, uh, so you can do dumb shit with the, uh, like I was doing, like, oh, I'm just gonna go to the powerful stuff anyway. Um, for those who want to play this, uh, it is a free download, and it works on Windows, and, um, I don't really think the engine has been updated ever? And granted, there's a new game, um, that has an updated engine, but that isn't this game. This game really would run on a 2014 PC. So, uh, you know. Uh, pretty good game. So if you want to play it, feel free. Uh, use the seeds that I use in this video. Like, have a really different one by putting in the seed... Difficult one by putting in the seed Robert Pattinson. Huh. Wow. Great game. Anyway, fuck. I'm f fucking around in my, in my outro. I've been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes, and that was SCP Containment Breach. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming by.